Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to discuss about cystoid macular edema which is abbreviated as CMO. In CMO, there is accumulation of fluid in outer plexiform and inner nuclear layers of retina with formation of tiny cyst-like cavities. This picture shows histopathology of CMO. Coming to the pathogenesis of CMO, fluid may initially accumulate intracellularly in Muller cells with subsequent rupture. Coalescence of smaller cavities may occur over time with subsequent progression to a foveal lamellar hole with irreversible impairment of central vision. Remember, CMO is a non-specific manifestation of any type of macular edema. Coming to the causes of CMO, ocular surgery and laser. Examples include phacoemulsification and panretinal photocorrelation. Retinal vascular diseases like diabetic retinopathy and retinal vein occlusion. Inflammatory causes like intermediate uveitis severe or chronic uveitis of any kind. CMO can be drug induced. This can be caused due to topical prostaglandin derivatives. Retinal dystrophies like retinitis pigmentosa can also cause CMO. Conditions involving vitreomacular traction like epiretinal membrane can lead to CMO. CNV can cause CMO. Fundus tumors like retinal capillary hemangioma and systemic diseases like chronic renal failure can also cause CMO. Coming to the symptoms of CMO, there can be blurring of vision, distortion and micropsia. In micropsia, objects appear smaller to the patient. Coming to the signs of CMO, fundus examination will show loss of foveal depression, thickening of retina and multiple cystoid areas in sensory retina as you can see in this picture. This is best seen with red free light using a fundus contact lens as shown in this picture. Other signs of CMO include optic disc swelling, lamellar hole and the features of associated disease. Coming to the investigations done for a case of CMO, Amsler chart will show central blurring and distortion. Fundus fluorescent angiography will show a petaloid pattern that is dye will accumulate like a flower petal in microcystic spaces in the outer plexiform layer as you can see in this picture. OCT can be done. OCT will show retinal thickening with cystic hyporeflective spaces and loss of foveal depression as you can see in this picture. OCT can also demonstrate lamellar hole in advanced cases of CMO. Coming to the treatment of CMO, NSAIDs can be used. This can be in the form of topical or systemic. Corticosteroids can be given. Again, this can be in the form of topical, periocular, systemic or intravitreal injections. Other treatment options include carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, anti-VEGF agents and pharmacologic vitreolysis agents. Examples for pharmacologic vitreolysis agents include chondritinase, dispase, hyaluronidase, plasmin and microplasmin. These vitreolysis agents induce a posterior vitreous detachment to relieve cystine macular edema from VMT. Surgery can be done when CME is refractory to medical therapy. That is, Pars planana vitrectomy can be done to relieve macular edema due to tractional or non-tractional components. Thank you.